Good day. Uh, today I'm doing my first Orbs recording, so this should be interesting. I have never used the software before, and I'm doing it on a Mac, and I normally do all my video production on Windows. So, lots of things can go wrong today, but I am not going to be doing any editing. This is just a test, but I thought I'd do a test with something that somebody asked me to do. Um, they wanted to put Python on their Amiga, and so I said, sure. Uh, the only version of Python that's available for the Amiga is version 2.4. It's quite old, but, you know, it's Python, so we'll go with that. So, uh, I'm not doing it on a natural Amiga. I'm actually using uh, a mystery system. So, let's fire up Minimig. So one of the things I should let you know is uh, I am using uh, Amiga OS 3.2. Uh, it's already set up with a shared folder on the Mr. side. And uh, all of the instructions that I am going to tell you uh, go through here are actually in my blog. Uh, my blog is uh, cowboy3398 at wordpress.com and uh, every time I do something that you know I might forget I just throw it in there it, it's just a bunch of tips and tricks it's for Apple it's for uh, Apple 2 uh, Amiga uh, Mac uh, uh, Atari all sorts of systems uh, retro and modern so uh, yeah especially lots of fixes to deal with Windows anyway you can find that on my blog. I'll include the link in the description. Okay, the first thing uh, we need to do is you need to download your, your files. And the first file you need to download uh, that is needed by Python is called IXML-48. And uh, you can find that on AmyNet. Again, I'll include uh, a link in the description. And uh, as you can see, I've already downloaded it. And the other uh, item you're going to need is um, also on AmyNet. It's called Uh, Python 2.4. There it is. Uh, Python 2.4, 68K, uh, Amiga OS, LAH, LHA. So let's switch back to our ministry system. I've already downloaded these two files. And I have did this before on a much older system. So let's uh, bring up a CLI. Let's see. CD shared. Oh no, it's not shared. shared. It's called Mister. C Mister. And then uh, I've got a Python folder here. And I have the, the two files that I need right there. And the, the dot files are from my Mac. Uh, you don't need those. So I need to copy the uh, XMU to RAM. And then I'm going to switch to RAM. I've already got LHA on my system. 
So I'm going to extract it into the RAM disk. And a nice feature of 3.2 is you can press tab and it will do command completion. So now I'm going to copy a couple of files uh, Now, this is for a 68000 system, that's with a 000, zero, zero. Uh, if you have a different processor Choose the appropriate file. Uh, okay, so we've already downloaded the, the Python. However, it's quite large and you won't be able to actually um, install it uh, into the RAM disk. It's just too big. So my system is called system. And I'm going to extract it. Uh, let's see now. It's Mr. Python Python, there we go. Oh, oh, L, L D, L H A. Don't use sixty five oh two uh, command sequence. It will not work. Well, I didn't realize TK Enter was available uh, on Python 2.4. Oh, that's interesting.
Oh, that's made it much slower. Maybe I'll just make that a small window again. Okay, now uh, we probably want to have the Python available in our startup sequence. So I am going to set that up. Uh, text edits, uh, my working drive, or my system drive, uh, user startup. There we go. Now let's add Python to the system. Uh, let's see what great alias. for uh, Python, and it's going to be system Python 2.4 M68K Amiga OS forward slash bin uh, forward slash Python 2.4. Next thing we're going to add is uh, some environment variables. So we'll set environment uh, Python home uh, system Python 2.4 M68K Amiga OS. Uh, slash lib slash Python 2.4 and we'll set uh, Python paths to uh, the same value as Python home And that should be it. We should be able to uh, save our changes now. And I'm going to uh, restart my Amiga. Let's see if we've got everything right. Uh, oh, I guess I can do this down here. There we go. We've got a CLI. Type Python. And it's an unknown command. Alias. Python. System. Uh, 
Well, hooray! Uh, let's see if uh, Python actually works. And it does. Okay. That should be it.